Hey guys and welcome back to another editing video using Film Dwarf, which as you know is my video editing software of choice. So today I'm going to take you through some more sort of short but advanced uh, feature edits of this very very good software package and we're going to do a freeze frame with some extra additional effects on top of it. So of course as always Film Dwarf is available from Microsoft Store it's for free. There are no endorsements on this video for me. I'm just doing this because I like to share the knowledge I have with it. So what we're going to do here is, and you can see I've just got like a regular clip in the timeline. It's just a, uh, a bit from Doom. No worries, everyone's seen that. So what we're going to do is get right into it and we're going to apply a freeze frame here. So you can see right when this uh, skeleton guy gets taken on, um, we're going to and some YouTubers would really like this because they use these features and this is how I would do it in, in here it's nice and easy so I want to apply freeze frame right there when the chainsaw comes out so simply choose the beginning frame right there and click down here on the bottom on the control ribbon freeze frame and we have simply applied a freeze frame now that's not all but I'll show you what it looks like initially it goes along and we've got a really nice freeze frame there and it continues on you can see it's a three second default uh, clip and um, it works quite nicely. However, what you can also do is use the picture in picture feature to um, emphasize what it is that you're trying to do because I think I make pretty cool videos and I'm passing on this so you can too. So what you need to do is to do that is to add picture in picture. So we click the, uh, the add picture in. You can see down here now it says add pick in pick. We choose add video and photo clips and you can see there that we now have a second video in our frame the first one and the second one however what i want to do and you can see here now as well we've got the picture in picture on the main screen and we can adjust the size of that it's really nicely done so what i want to do is move the part here on the bottom where this this skeleton guy gets uh, gets going on so because we're editing the one on the bottom here I'll move the slider forward again to there and I split that so you can see now we've got the second picture in picture down here this one we don't need so I delete that now what we want to do is because I've split that at the beginning of where the freeze frame starts here move the slider back to there and we click set start down here and you'll see the video moves back to where I want it to start from. So if I play that now, you'll see that there's a really cool feature there. I'll just click that in frame. So, uh, so you can see there now that it's freeze frame is on and the you can see the freeze frame against the motion of the same video. Pretty cool feature. Now also that ends at about here. So, or it ends about there on the freeze frame. So I can either adjust the time on the freeze frame or trim this video. So I'll, I'll, what I'll do is trim this video. So I'll split that and I'll delete this. Pretty cool. And it resumes and then on, on it goes. What we also can do to emphasize part of the uh, video that you're producing is we can select this and we can do a, an effect. And an effect that I like to use for this is the inkwell, which is the black and white. And so it really emphasizes the the color schemes here. So you'll, I'll just go on the back a little bit further and you'll see this now. And, and run, it, run, run it through, black and white there, and you can see the freeze frame and you can see the running of the, on the bottom. The good thing too is three seconds here, what we can do is we can set the, uh, set the speed like this and we can slow it down even further to 0.5 so you can see now it's expanded out so it runs even further so i'll play that again freeze frame and we've got the slow motion in the back there and then it then it resumes it's sort of a little bit funny like that so we can go in and we can easily set the speed again and sort of adjust it to where we think it might work and you can sort of line it up a little bit so it might give it another a few more seconds like this and it goes along and you can see that it matches up quite nicely uh, so that effect is very 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 good one other 
point that I'd like to just quickly share with you here is um, we can make this bottom one animate in as well, which is really nice. So we've got entrance and exit here. So on entrance, we'll um, fade it in and on exit, we'll slide it to the top. So I'll show you what that looks like now. That's a really, really cool thing to keep in mind. So there it fades in and you can see the effect and then it, it, it fades out. Play that one more time. Fades in and then it slides out to the top. So that's some other advanced features of uh, Film Forth. As always, when you're done, you save video and then save it out without a watermark, close that and you're good to go with creating your video. So that's, that's uh, one thing to keep in mind. The key point here was that set start and I'll just sort of demonstrate that here. So we, we want it to start there. So we can go set start and there it is. Um, it, it's the way you line it up. See how that doesn't go back properly like that now? So we can wind that back, go set start and that's where our um, frame will enter on the freeze frame like that. All right, I hope that's helped you out. Um, I certainly like producing these videos. If you like it, please like and subscribe. There's more to come. See you on the next video.